Hello all, in today's episode I picked a model at random and I'm going to take and build that model in Sims 2, Sims 3, and Sims 4 uh, to the best of my meager abilities and then uh, put them in game and show you the difference between what the models look like in the, in the uh, creative Sims or in this instance for Sims 2 it's really broken up into two parts you've got the Sims 2 body shop which is uh, outside the game utility that's uh, more flexible and more powerful than what you have in the game and then inside the game you have create a family and I usually tend to work in the Sims 2 body shop which is an older tool suite and it's not quite as powerful as Sims 3 or Sims 4 CAS but it can still get the job done anyway uh, what I like to do when I pick a model is I like to get several different views and several different lightings if possible um, get a good profile shot and that way you can get a good view of the facial structure the color of the eyes uh, the shape of the the face the nose uh, facial marks uh, dimples whatever um, and then you can model your sim more closely to that I mean you can take pictures of a family made yourself um, whoever imply this same concept this one I've just used picked a, uh, a model from the net and downloaded several pictures and tried to get several different profiles so for example before I start I will show you I, I tend to try to get uh, several different shots in and get a good profile different lighting where you can see uh, all the different features okay this is a profile view that's a front view shows the eyes well the general shape of the face and you can get a perception from this of what what you want uh, the model to look like you know whether it's a guy or girl it's the same concept so anyway I'm probably going to use the smaller photo up in the right hand corner as my general reference and then I'll pull open the other ones as I need to I've already got the Sims 2 body shop uh, loaded and we'll go ahead and go into build a sim here build or clone sims and um, what I'm going to do is probably just scoot over and pick a generic model and adjust it from there and show you how it works um, how the tools work for just starting from a base model in game slide way over I've got quite a bit of custom content loaded and see if I can find a model that's uh, even has at least kind of the shape of the nose and a general shape of the face you don't have to do that but it does make it easier I'll tell you what we will just start with her since she has her hair pulled back already and you go into clone a sim you can pull up close-up views and I want to first of all remove all makeup from the model make sure there's nothing on there and if the if the model had um, a hair that was covering or obscuring the face I would take him in selecting hair like this that is already uh, pulled back so we'll keep that the model has blonde to auburn hair light brown so we'll take in maybe just pull up something pulled back that's that's brown too much down let's see I will just go back to what we had that'll be fine Okay, so to get started, I'm going to go ahead and rough in the, uh, the facial features. As you can see, um, in this view, her jawline is too, too thick, the nose isn't properly shaped, and the model has a, um, an unusual sculpting of the face so we're going to try to match that so the first thing I'll do is probably go grab the jawline different people can start in different places it's whatever you prefer so I'm going to select the jawline 
and take and narrow the chin area. And I need to pronounce the chin. slightly okay at this point I'm going to go ahead and remove the eyebrow, eyebrows that's on this model and I'm going to adjust and look at some of the skins that I've already put together and let me see what I need to do I want to remove the eyebrows I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, the proper eye tone. Okay. Again, I'm going to pull up a larger reference picture. She has a uh, a dark green eye. I'm going to pull up a couple more. Look at a couple different shots. That's not a good one. The profile is too uh, is too small. Okay there she has sultry eyes but you can see that they are dark green okay so that can give you a good idea of how you want the uh, the model to look so I'm going to uh, take and pull this off to the side and I'm going to match the best eyes I have for that it's not too bad I'm going to look at a couple more It's close. Customized, downloaded. I'm going to throw in. Now, I have replaced, this is the Maxim replacements. I've currently got default replacements in. As you can see, these eyes look better than, uh, than the original. Sims 2 eyes that came out so I have that as a default replacement so even my default replacements or even my uh, maximize aren't standard so uh, I have the defaults replaced I want to go back to that's pretty close we'll go ahead and go with that and I'm going to check skin tones As you can see, quite a few of the skin tones I have, I've already have uh, some makeup and some eyebrows in some of those. Let me see here. I can find something that's a pretty good match. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go with that one. And now then. Let's take and shape the face a bit more. I'll come back and adjust the skin tone later, but this will help me see some features. And her chin is still a bit too pointed. Let me pull up a profile view, profile view again. And yes, her chin is definitely more rounded than what I have uh, on the model at the moment and her forehead is a bit more curved, rounded. Her cheekbones are fairly close. Her mouth needs a bit of work and her nose needs a bit of work, but she's closer than she was. Okay, so let's go back and adjust the chin a bit more. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna tweak it out just a bit, just a bit wider. I'm in the wrong area. Okay. Okay, now then, let's see, again, four, okay, let's see, this is the picture I'm working off of at the moment. That's fairly close. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and scope the forehead a bit. 
it definitely needs to be a touch rounder. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the forehead and I'm going to take and make it a touch rounder. Okay. Now then for general placement I need to take and check the height of the eyes to the face and the width of the eyes and the general placement of the nose and mouth is fairly close at the moment. I'm just checking to see the gap between the nose and mouth, the position of the nose in comparison to the ears, and the width of the eyes. The width of the eyes need to come in a bit and they need to be reduced in size slightly. So I'm going to do that and we'll take a look at that photo again. So at this point I'll go back to the eyes and I'm going to take and move them in slightly and I'm going to reduce the size slightly. Okay. And I'm going to take and close the eyes slightly. Let's go back to the photo again. That one she is so uh, definitely got her eyes more closed than she normally does. Okay. Now here at this point I'm going to reshape the, uh, the eyes again because I just goofed it up a bit. Oh uh, no. I've got way too many photos open here. Okay. Now, okay, I'm going to adjust the tilt of her eyes a bit. just a moment. Okay, the eye is still too wide a bit. I'm able to fix that with uh, with something else with uh, a different uh, with a mask, with a makeup mask. Let me try closing the eyes slightly. That is fairly close. Let's go adjust the nose a bit. Um, there's people out on the internet that are much more talented at this than I am. So um, the position of the nose is pretty close. Let me pull up a profile view once again. And the shape of the nose isn't quite right, but I think I want to keep that nose and put a mask on it. So we'll do that in a moment. Okay, so that's fairly close. Her eyebrows need to, a bit of adjustment. Let's go see what we have for eyebrows and shape of eyebrows. Let's go to shape of eyebrows first. So that's the eyes and the brow. Let's see if I can adjust. I didn't want to do that. Maybe just Let's see. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Let me go select some different eyebrows now. Uh, I've lost track of where I'm at. It's under uh, this tool. Okay. What I'm trying to do is just match this photo as best I can. It's not too bad, but it's superimposing over what's already there. Now that's pretty close too. On the outside corners, they're a bit harsh, and I may have extended her brow just a bit more than I should have, but it's fairly close. And I need just a bit more width in her cheeks. 
Let's go there and adjust the cheek. Now then I'm going to take and bump now this one. That's moving the eye area out, so I don't want to do that. Okay. Okay. That's a pretty good shot on the nose, but from a lower uh, camera angle. But you can see the bridge of the nose and um, other prominent features. And I do need to work on her lips a bit. Okay. Again, bring this photo up for just a moment. You can see what I'm looking at, what I'm working on. Okay, her lips need to be a bit fuller and I need to do a, a nose mask, but other than that it's looking fairly close. I just need to apply makeup to that now. Okay, so here we go. Let's go in first of all and try to find a nose mask real quick. So let's see. There's one mask. Let's try another one. I think that has the bridge of the nose a bit wide. Nostril flares too much there. Let's see if I have more nose mask. Yes, I think I like that one. Bring up a photo again. give the nose a slight tilt down so I'll go ahead and do that. I think I can do that with the uh, the mask on. Let's take a look at that and see. Okay. So what I want to do here is give a slight tilt down. Okay, that's fairly close. I'm going to sup that. And at this point, let's go ahead and select a different hair for her. Okay, I want to get a lighter hair than what she's got now. And possibly, I want to take and put a... Um, mask on the roots of her hairs. Let's see if, what I've got for that. Let's see if I've got something lighter. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Now then let me take and check a couple more hairstyles and we'll see what we have for the light brown. And let's try that. That's too red. hairstyle for her face shape but uh, I want to try to actually match it up as close as possible to the model because I will be doing this in Sims uh, 3 and 4 as well okay okay that's probably going to be fairly close I don't think I have anything closer let me look, uh, switch or flip on through this a bit I don't see anything else that's a better match for her. And um, let's try that one. Let's 
that's not too bad. I think I'll go ahead and stay with this one. No, it's uh, it's good. Okay. Okay, I had to take a break for a few moments. I'm back, and uh, we are still working on this model. Um, I uh, decided that she needed just a touch um, of under under her chin. I need to raise that area out. Her cheekbones are very pronounced, and her face and her actual jaws are a bit uh, more fallow than what I've got. Let me show you the photo I'm working on. No, that's not it. Well, yeah, you can see in this one that she her her cheekbones are pronounced, and there is a uh, a dip in her cheek itself. I need to try to to touch that up. So I'm going to do that right now. I have uh, taken and okay, there we adjusted that a bit. And that's got her facial structure much closer to what I'm look shooting for here. You bring up a couple photos again and I think we're getting pretty close with that. Okay, the width of her chin is okay. The position of her eyes is okay. I still need to put a mask on her eyes and that's going to be pretty close. I need to touch up the bridge of her nose slightly. It needs to be pronounced, more pronounced. Okay. So, let's go there and bring the bridge of her nose out just slightly. That's too much. And we need to define that bridge a bit. Let's see. That's pinching it a bit too much. Let me go back to the photo again. And rotate a bit. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Her cheek still has a bit more fallow. Um, her cheekbone is about right. Let me bring up another photo. And I think I can put that on with a mask in makeup once again. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I want to go grab a couple more masks in. We're almost done here. We're going to put a couple masks on for makeup and let's see oh I forgot to double check her lips and let me take and review this from a couple different angles let me pull up a good photo of the mouth and her upper lip is a bit more pronounced outward than her lower lip so I need to make sure I catch that. The shape of her mouth is generally okay. As you can see in that photo, her upper lip is a bit more pronounced. Let me look at one more photo. That's a small one. Well, we already have a slight pronouncement. I think that's pretty close. I don't want to mess that up. Okay. All right, let me double check. Eyelid and okay, that is a lower eyelid mask, and I think. That is going to be closer to what I was looking for. I've got some masks here that are refining her mouth and her nose a bit. Okay. It's closer. I'm going to go ahead and hit the lips with a, a, a shape check. And 
I may try to increase the fullness of her upper lip just slightly. Take a look at that and see how that looks. Okay, I gave it just a bump and we'll look at making it just a touch fuller on the upper lip. I think that's what I want. Okay, I have the correct um, shape of the mouth. I have the proper uh, indentations at the corner of the mouth. And now I want to go apply a lipstick to that that will match what we have in the photo. Uh, no, it's too glossy. That's fairly close. Let's see. I think I like this one by Bruno. It's a good match for her. And I still need to get a mask for her cheeks. It's going to give a little bit of shadow in the cheek line. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, that was a rouge. I thought that was something else. Let's see. Okay. I do like that mask for her. It matches. And she doesn't have any pronounced face lines, so I can skip that. I am still looking to put a a touch of um, hollow into her cheek with a makeup here. Okay. Let me pop out and look at her just a second. And let me show you again the photo I'm working off of at the moment. Now she has her eyes closed a bit there, but as far as other facial features, I can pick up quite a bit of detail there. And let me see if I don't have a mask for the cheeks that will... There's one. Okay. All right. That's a cheek hollow, a medium by MB4. I think I'll go with that one. So, that's pretty much got her set. I have uh, everything. Let me touch her eyes up just a touch here. Let me take a pull of the photo up again. That uh, the main photo I'm working with. Really, that's got a touch of rose. I really need something with a more uh, just subtle, subtle blending of, of brown, of uh, a chocolate-like color, and yeah, one that gives the proper shape too. Okay, I think I like that one. Okay, and let's see if we need to put an eyeliner on there. Um, okay, I think that is fairly close. And let's go ahead and dress her in. Check her out in a swimsuit.
Okay, folks, I think that's pretty close. Um, again, let me pull up the photo comparison, and I might need to change the hair or something. I'm going to save this off, take a peek at it. And the main. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I was shooting for pretty much. And it's fairly close. Okay, I'm going to stop here and we'll take and put her in game in a few minutes and we'll show you how the in game view of her compares to what you see in the body shop. And that will be um, probably all I'll do for this video. It's got been longer than I thought. I'll probably do a separate video for Sims 2, Sims 3, and Sims 4 and then take in. Um, perhaps make a reduced one showing all of them together and uh, not the process uh, I'm not going to do the process for all of them um, in one video it would just be too long alright thank you very much for your time bye bye Okay, hey y'all, we're in game now, and this is the uh, Create a Family Utility Create a Sim, um, which is uh, the uh, facility in game that's very similar to uh, what we had outside of game. It's just not quite as powerful, and uh, I have made one decision. I think I'm probably going to go with this hair for now. I think it probably matches the model a bit better, and I've went ahead and selected um, formal wear undies. Um, and PJs, swimwear, athletic wear, and outerwear. Okay, folks, I have moved uh, Michelle in with uh, with Buffy and and her bow. And we'll go ahead and go live here, and uh, we'll check and see how they look. Okay. We'll go ahead and set her inside in the lighting, and let's take a quick peek at them. And let's see how they look in here. Okay, there's Michelle, and as you remember, we just got through working on her in CAS, and she looks very much like she did in CAS. Jadi Okay, I want to set her into a pose box position. Let's see. Okay, there we go, folks. So we'll be uh, on to Sims 3 next. Thank you. Bye-bye.